If you don't live under a rock, you've definitely heard someone say that Apex Legends is dying. Whether it be a content creator or one of your friends, you've definitely heard it somewhere. This definitely is shown on YouTube, where we see YouTubers like Garrett, Gaming Merchant, Hal, people like that talk about this. And on Reddit more than anywhere. I feel like Apex Legends subreddit is one of the most negative places I have ever been to. I hate it here. But I need video ideas, so I mean, the trade-off's worth it. But as we see by this post, it says that the Steam charts show that this is the lowest amount of players on a new season release, and that the Twitch count is at its lowest of all time. While a commenter points out that Steam is not the only platform, it still shows us some good metrics for information. I'm going to go through this post because it basically shows every complaint that I've heard people have. First, this is the least amount of players on a new season. If we look through Google Trends, we can see that currently we're in November, no shoot, and we see the player count dropping. It's around the fall season, and if we look back two years, the same thing happened. Through winter, late fall, player count dropped. And guess what? Last year, the same thing happened. And there are a few really good explanations as to why. Modern Warfare 2 came out in late October, which obviously is going to take a lot of FPS players who play Apex and put them into Call of Duty. From what I've heard, a lot of people really like this game and a lot of people don't. But overall, I've heard that it's a really fun game, so obviously it's going to take player counts away. And then Overwatch 2 happened, which took away a lot of players because I feel like the genre is being like a character-based, ability-based game, and it has more movement than Warzone, bro. And then the big hitter today... Warzone 2 came out, which I think is going to affect the player count the most, and that's why I'm making this now, because I have a feeling it is going to drop with this game. If we look at Steam charts, you can see over the past about six months, it has gone from the peak player count of all time to being relatively low for a season release. And as I've stated before, there's a good three reasons for that, because three big games came out right when the player count usually dips. So it's going to be a double hitter. And even on Twitch, as highlighted by this Twitter post, we can see that it is the lowest player count it has ever been, only hitting about 30,000 views. Currently, that's because Warzone is absolutely killing it, because it came out two hours ago. And before, the big thing that was hitting it down was Overwatch 2. And while you may feel that you don't care about Overwatch 2 and you only play Apex, a lot of creators were getting sponsored by Overwatch to stream Overwatch. And people would rather follow their favorite creator around than the game. Usually. Obviously, I'm not saying for everyone. And the reason games like New World and Rocket League are over it is because the just genre of people watching it aren't gonna follow. Apex Legends players are gonna go watch Warzone, because they're interested in Warzone, but usually they're never gonna watch a Rocket League or New World stream. It's just different categories of games, so the players don't really overlap. And going back to this Reddit post, we can see that they're saying that Respawn only cares about money, and I'm not saying that they're wrong because I'm not head of the company, I don't know their priorities. Obviously, they are focused on money more than anyone would like, but they're saying that it's terrible because they fixed an heirloom glitch, which is just a line of code that has previously been in the game, but for some reason was disabled with the release of Season 15. All they had to do is just like probably replace something that said false with true, and they're comparing it to cross progression which Respawn has been openly working on for two years and is near impossible because of the Source Engine. Because the Source Engine was never designed for anything like that, because it is old as shoot. It was designed and released in 2004. Obviously, it's been updated, but still, you can't change core aspects like that. And Respawn will probably eventually find a workaround, but it's really hard to do. So I feel like people should give them more credit for that. Obviously, this is just one guy, but I felt like his post embodied all of the hate and criticism that I've seen that doesn't really seem justified. Obviously, Respawn needs to step up their game. They're doing a lot wrong. The matchmaking is a hard fix, but I personally believe it should be number one on the priority list more than anything. Pressure is good, but also I feel like unnecessarily hating on the game and the devs is pretty terrible. This is not one of my normal videos, obviously, so if you hated it, please tell me in the comments. If you loved it, please tell me in the comments. If you think anything I said was totally wrong, tell me in the comments so we can talk about it, because I like debating with people. So with that, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!